BAS was constructed to further the process of defining, understanding, and measuring the ubiquitous and clinically significant emotional states usually described as depression, anxiety and stress. DAS is developed by Sid Lovibond and Peter Lovibond. Malay translation of the DAS was carried out by Dr. Sakri Rahim. Purpose of DAS is to assess the full range of core symptom of anxiety and depression while providing maximum between the scale of anxiety and depression and to measure the negative emotional states of depression, anxiety and stress. DAS is a self-report instrument, the component that being assessed by DAS are depression, anxiety and stress. Target population for DAS are normal adolescents and adults, all population, and children as young as 14 year old. For the first part of administration procedure, client need to read each statement, and, answer the question. Second, each of the question, need to be scored using four point Likert scales, ranging from zero until three, which indicate, how much the statement applied to client over past week. Third, state that there is no right, or wrong answer, and ask client, to not spend too much time on any statement. The indication of the score is, zero did not apply to me at all. 1. Applied to me to some degree, some of time. 2. Applied to me to a considerable degree or good part of mine. 3. Applied to me most of the time. This is the rating form, of DAS 42, and, this is the rating form, of DAS 21. For the DAS 42, the first step is, enter each score from the questionnaire, into the first two columns. 2. Add up the score of each row, and enter the score into the available box, D, A, or S, accordingly. 3. Add up all the score, for each of the D, A, and S columns. D, is depression. A, is anxiety. S, is stress, for the DAS 21. First, enter the score into, D, A, and S, according to the question number, from 1 until 21. 2. Add up the score, for each of the D, A, and S subscales. 3. The total for each subscales, D, A, and S, need to times, by 2. To interpret the score, we will use, the recommended cutoff scores, that range from normal, to extremely severe. By referring to the table, we can identify, the severity of the depression, anxiety, and stress disorder, that are as follows, the higher the score, indicates, the more often they experience the symptoms. The Kronbach South is for the DAS 42 subscales of depression, anxiety, and stress, were 0.97, 0.92, and 0.95 respectively. While, Kronbach South is for the DAS 21 subscales, were 0.94 for depression, 0.87 for anxiety, and 0.91 for stress. And for the Malay version, it has very good Kronbach South values, for both of the version. DAS 21 and DAS 42 shows a strong validity in construct, content, convergence, divergent, discriminant and predictive validity. The first advantages of DAS assessments is, it has good psychometric properties. Second, it is an effective screening tool, among psychiatric patients in a hospital in Kuala Lumpur. Third, the DAS has been translated in various languages, including Malay language. Fourth, DAS depression scale is most useful to differentiate, between mild to moderate severity levels. Lastly, it is reliable and valid method, of assessing features of depression, anxiety, and tension stress.
The first disadvantage of DAS, is, response bias, as this is self-rated assessment, client tend to overestimate themselves. Second, it is only a screening tool, not diagnostic tool, thus, cannot identify the exact problem. Third is, DAS 21 scale, is rather homogeneous, mainly cognitive and emotional symptoms, and, not covers all clinical criteria, for a major depressive disorder, including sleeping problems, appetite, weight change, energy loss and psychomotor retardation, agitation. Lastly, DAS assessment is suitable to use in Malaysia, as Ramley and Samia, 2009, stated that BM DAS 21, had, excellent psychometric properties, and therefore it is suitable to be used for the Malaysian clinical population. Besides, the results of, Ramley et al. 2012 study, suggest that, the psychometric properties of Malay DAS 42 items, are suited for the non-clinical population.